Russia continues to intensify its strike campaign against Islamic State in Syria as the total number of bombings has risen to 88 per 24 hours. RT's Murad Gazdiev looks at how both pilots and aircraft are handling the pace. 30 tons of metal traveling at 300 kilometers an hour and all it's got to stop is a city block. The forces at work are tremendous. Sure, you can stop with just the wheel brakes, but you'll have to change melted tires. The parachutes themselves, interestingly enough, are made of silk. They also come in varying sizes, depending on how many tons of metal they've got to bring uh, to a halt. But after each landing, the parachutes detach. They're collected, wrapped up, packed in and fitted for the next mission. And those missions are coming in thicker and faster. The tempo of Russian airstrikes on jihadists is growing by leaps and bounds. Armories, hideouts and strongholds lay in tatters nationwide, a fact that many Syrians are celebrating. In the capital, in western Syria, there is near unanimous support for Russian airstrikes, among the public anyway. Moscow's embassy and hundreds of civilians at this pro-Russian rally were targeted by shelling. While the attack, which constitutes an act of terror, won't raise any eyebrows in Syria, it does go to show that Russian airstrikes are hurting those desperate enough to attack peaceful rallies. Morad Gazdiev, RT, from Latakia, Syria.